This series of videos is for the 2022 AP Calculus AB exam in the free response section. Question number one. So these are graphing calculator questions. And it says from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., the rate at which the vehicles arrive at a certain toll plaza is given by A of T equals 450 square root sine of 0.62T. Now, it's important to note that the equation that we're given is a rate equation. Okay, so this is a rate equation. And to get the, where T is the number of hours after 5 a.m., and A of T is measured in vehicles per hour. Again, the vehicles per hour indicates that it's a rate. Traffic is flowing smoothly at 5 a.m. with no vehicles waiting in line. Part A says, write but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the total number of vehicles that arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., or t equals 1 to t equals 5. So in general, the accumulation, the accumulation is going to be the integral of the rate from A to B of the rate function. Okay, so that's our accumulation. And this is what we want. We want the, the integral for accumulation, the total number of vehicles. So we'll write that as T. So the total number, well, we'll just write that as total number, is equal to the area under the curve from one, T equals one to T equals five, of the a of t function. Okay, so if we take a look at our a of t function, that accumulation is going to start at a equals one or t equals one to t equals five. So we're talking about this area in here. Okay, so part b says find the average value of the rate in vehicles per hour at which the vehicles arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. So the average value of the rate, we're really finding the average value of our f of x function. So to do that, we have a formula to do this. We take the area under the rate function and divide it by the, the interval value of a minus b. So that's finding the average value of the f of x, and we want the average value of a to do that. The other way we can do this is we can think of this as the average slope of the accumulation. So we want to know the rate, the total number of cars, which would be the area under the curve or the displacement f of b minus f of a. Divide, so that represents the total number of cars, and the b minus a represents the difference in time or the total time. So that will give us the average rate of change okay, of the accumulation function. So what we want to do then is we want to find the, the total, we're going to use the average value formula. So I'm going to find the average value of a of x, sorry, a of t, That's going to be equal to 1 over the interval value, which is going to be 5 minus 1. And it's going to be the area from 1 to 5 under the A of t function. Okay, so we have this area that, that's the area that we were looking at before. So this area, we're going to put this into our graphing calculator. And we're going to integrate, find that area. And that area works out to be 1,502.148. Okay, so that represents the total number of cars. Okay, so maybe I'm going to write this here. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 4. And this area is going to be 1502.148. And this five hours minus one hour represents four hours. 
So this is going to give us the rate in cars per hour, which works out to be 375.537. And this is in cars, which is the area, divided by the interval, which is hours. Okay, so we have our average value of the A function as 375.537 cars per hour.